Yo, good vibes and drinks. Thank you very much for clicking this video. This salute is for you because of that gesture. Respect, man. You see, first, today let me start by some big up. You see, to some guys there that have been hitting the like button, giving comments, and above all, one guy, only one guy called the only Jedi. It's like he knew he's the only one because so far this year, he's that only guy that has hit the super dance button and blessed us with the $10, which we are very, very grateful for. And we wish the universe to reward that guy. You see? And now, wonderful drinks. if you don't know what we are all about here, let me keep you up to speed, which is generally spreading love, peace, forgiveness, honesty, and good vibes while reacting together to different types of videos, all with the intentions of uniting drinks and spreading love. Straight out of Africa, I'm your Good Vibes host, Y311 Hitchman, with lots of good vibes. Let's dive in. Huh. Oh. And some fancy beginning here, where we see some skeletons allegedly of dead fairies. If you don't know what fairies are, you see myself, I have no, those who don't know them. I've heard about their stories and read them, in, about them in books. And now I'm surprised it's like they really do exist. Do you think the good people have had these are rich characters or uh, some movie props? Please leave your thoughts on this, you see? Because now it's hard to fathom that there could be small adlings like this with the wings. Eh? How is that possible? Hmm? Oh. Check this out, y'all. I was watching this video yesterday about a planet called Nibiru and that it's in our solar system. It always has been. Um, it's also associated with the Anunnaki, which I believe it's their planet. And at this moment in our time, it is so close to Earth that we're able to see it. So it me made me remember back in 2021 and in 2020 where I took photos of the sun because they just didn't seem right to me. They looked odd. It looked weird. So here's one. This was in um, Utah, northern Utah, August of 2021. I mean, look at that. It looks like there's a planet behind the sun. And then these are from South Carolina in 2020 of June. And again, it just looked weird. So... Let me know what you think. I mean, there's a lot of things, a lot of people are talking about April 8th, this um, eclipse happening, but maybe it's not. Hmm. What are your thoughts on that, man? This trippy sculpture is by UK-based artist Tom Lawton. It's called Wonder. It's one of those things that you can just stare at for a terribly long amount of time. I once spent 13 days staring at this with no food or water. That part isn't true, but this is pretty cool. Like this video and follow for more cool stuff. Oh man, this one is definitely some wonder. Look at this man. Oh, that is creativity beyond the fathomable measures. This is the, the uh, ground plans of the Louisiana Purchase Explosion, St. Louis, Missouri, 1904. Keyword 1904. Now first look at the, uh, look at that. You see how the, the south is up north and the north is down south and the west is east and the east is west. So you see how they flipped already. They didn't flip the compass. So now everybody's direction is off whenever they're looking for something particularly or whenever they're trying to see where something is or what something is. So key word that I want people to see here yeah, because north ain't south and south ain't north and east ain't west and west ain't east. Little do people know so they kind of got your brains a little going now. I want you to notice there were a lot of things that were over here. The ground plans it says 1904, right? So Morocco wasn't even founded until 1952. So what is this? You sure this ain't the ancient Jerusalem and ancient Morocco right over here next to Illinois? California was right over here. Temple Inn, you see Japan, right? You see a bunch of little play. Hold on, you see Great Britain. Yes, this is on this land. Uh, you see Sweden. You see Cuba, you see China, you see Belgium, yup, Austria. All of these places were over here. All of these places.
places, Italy, all of these places were over here, right on this land specifically, right? And this little thing that you see right here, this little thing that you see right here, you see how they got it, a sky view? This is a sky view, this is this that I was just showing you. This is what this looked like from an east to west view. This is what that looked like, baby. When they got over here, that's what they saw, baby. They know what they saw, baby, greatness. Come on, more, stand up. They know what they saw, baby. Greatness. You think we ain't had this whole land on lock? Come on, man. Come on, man. Slaves ain't built no White House. We did. We built all this. Moors did, baby. Ancient Morocco. Now, I'm going to go back to this. Because remember, if the new Morocco was founded in 1952, then there must have been the people that purchased this land and took the Jerusalem from over here and threw it over there. They took Morocco from over here and threw it over there because we can find letters from George Washington writing to the Sultan of Morocco. So if, if the Morocco that's established over there in uh, 1952, if that was just established, then this must have been the Morocco he was writing to. That's why they got Cahokia, Illinois. And you also got a Cahokia in what? Exactly. Or Cairo, shall I say. You got a Cairo, Illinois. And they say the Cahokia Mounds. We got a lot of mounds over here. We were mound builders. They didn't want to call us pyramid builders. They called us mound builders. Let's keep that in mind. You see, we got Tennessee over here. Idaho. Fraternity. You see what I'm saying? Look at that. Virginia, Georgia. Uh, come on, man. Like, like it never stops. You see, Missouri was way up here. So we in Missouri, I'm in Missouri right now, but how Missouri way up here? <laughs> how is this a map <laughs> of the land that I'm on right now? But Missouri is just a little teeny place next to Louisiana and Wisconsin and Ohio, New York. Why is New York all the way over here? How is New York all the way over here? Ohio, New York, Massachusetts, Minnesota. So clearly we had these places, North Jerusalem. For those who, who claim they're Israelites but don't even know where Israel is, uh, this is Jerusalem, the holy city, buddy. Sorry, you got Iowa, you got Mississippi, and mind you, if you're wondering why it looks so confusing, you should be. They flipped your whole world upside down, so you see south is north, north is south, east is west, west is east. So you have to learn a whole new form of direction. Oh man, oh, so I heard this is a good day, you see? Watch this. Hi, I was just wondering, is it possible that any other humans or animals could have survived the flood that basically took over the entire earth? The answer to that is absolutely not. I've been asked that question many times before, and usually it comes because people don't understand how powerful Noah's flood was. The explosion of that subterranean chamber ripped around the planet at 12,000 miles per hour. It was faster than the speed of sound. If you saw it, you would hear no sound. The next thing you'd know, if you saw it, less than a second later, you were dead. That's how fast it was, it was, it was moving. It buried everything under 10,000 feet of water. What actually happened was that the continent sank. If it would destroy a Brachiosaurus, all right, the most powerful land animal that ever lived, 52 tons, 110,000 pounds, believe me, there's no human being that could survive that de devastation. The power of that explosion was a trillion, billion atomic bombs. Oh man, that's uh, some high, hard truth, you see? And this illuminated guy from some place there was spotted in Greece, you see, next to a waterfall, standing next to a waterfall. I don't know if he had gone there for some cooling purposes or uh, what was really going on. You see, this is some crazy phenomena that you had also seen in another episode of some guy with such characteristics also of shining. And you wonder what's up with these guys. What have they been taking good people of earth, eh? It's like uh, people from other places of this world uh, feed on light stuff, eh? But what is this? Yeah, good vibes guy here looks like he's full of LEDs in his body. And you wonder uh, what's up? How is this even possible, you see? Yeah, this guy can be used to light a dark room. Oh, and in case of darkness, you just need one good vibes guy like that one, you see? Oh. Huh. Shit's getting weird. Part Infinity. A new video from the ocean may solve a long-standing mystery in shark science. Great whites, the largest predatory sharks in the world, with the most deadly attacks on humans, are tough to imagine as newborn babies, right? It's partially because no one has seen one in the wild, it seems. Until now, this is what you're looking at. Filmmaker Carlos Gauna and biology doctoral student Philip Stearns scanned the waters near Santa Barbara, California, and saw this. 
saying they enlarged the video, realizing the white layer was being shed from it as it was swimming, believing it was a newborn white shark shedding its embryonic layer. What is so remarkable about this? What's remarkable is uh, that we don't know exactly where great white sharks give birth. It's It's been thought for years that great whites give birth in deeper offshore waters. The significant part about this is if it is indeed a newborn white shark, it was in very shallow water. Uh, because we don't know where they're born, if we do find that location, it is definitely something that we want to protect, want to conserve. I look at it like this. Leave little baby white shark alone. Okay. There's a reason why mama shark don't want y'all to know where she gives birth. Why do you think we've never found it? Just think about it. Why do you think we never found it? Because they don't want us to find it. And if they don't want us to find it, just leave them alone. You want to protect it, protect it by not finding it. Protect it by leaving it be. That's how you protect it. Because motherfuckers are going to want to go in there and put baby shark, or grab baby shark and put baby shark in a cage. The first ever sighting of a baby shark. We now have it in Disneyland. <laughs> or SeaWorld. That's all I'm saying. Just leave him alone. Stay out the water. Just leave him alone. Just leave him alone. That's my thoughts. What's your thoughts? My thoughts is just leave him alone. We don't, you know what I'm saying? Cool. We saw it. Just leave him alone. We don't need to go looking and finding it. Just leave him be. They be chilling. As long as you don't get in that water, they be chilling. <laughs> oh, man. That's a... Uh... What do you think about that? Sort of my dad just told me the greatest story of why the grass is never greener. It's unbelievable. Like I was just on the phone to him and I was complaining about the weather and saying, God, it's just annoying. You know what? I want to go and live somewhere else. I want to go and live to this place where I always go on holiday. I love it there. I'm going to pack up my stuff, go there, go and live there. And he said to me, well, before you make that decision, I got a story for you. He said a man died and he went to heaven and he knocked on heaven's door and St. Peter opened the door and said, hey, welcome. Come on in. So great to see you. And St. Peter said, look, I'm just going to take you on a little tour of the place. So he took him on a tour and there were some friends that he saw and um, people were reading and the weather was nice. And um, it was kind of a lovely but sort of simple scene. And it was nice. It was nice. Anyway, the man said, well, look, I'm just going to quickly go and check downstairs. Before I make a decision of coming to heaven, I'm just going to quickly check downstairs and check out what hell's like. So St. Peter said, sure, go and do it. So the man goes downstairs knocks on the gates of hell, and Lucifer opens them up. And he says, hey, welcome, come on in, check it out. So he pops his head and he looks around and people are drinking pina coladas, the weather's shining, people are dancing on the beach to music. It's unbelievable, people are having the best time ever. So he runs back upstairs to heaven and says to St. Peter, hey, listen, I'm not staying here. This place is just simple, it's boring. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna go and live in hell. So St. Peter said, sure, that's what you want, you can do it. So the man runs back downstairs, knocks on the gates, the gates open, and he runs into hell, and the gates shut behind him. And as they do, it's fire and brimstone and hell, and it's the weather's bad, it's just terrible, it's awful, it's the worst place in the entire world. And so among, amongst the chaos, he runs up to Lucifer and says to Lucifer, hey, hang on a second, wait, I don't get it. The last time I came here and put my head in there, were people drinking pina coladas and everyone's having a party, and it was so much fun, what's happened? And Lucifer turns to him and says, well, last time you came, you were on holiday. <laughs> oh, that's a good web story. You see, my grandmother has told me that story when I was a small boy. You see, about two years old. I'm surprised uh, the story is the same even in English. Terms. You see, we are not different humans, uh, good people of us. If we have the same stories, then you can also understand stuff like that. Uh, floating crazy stuff. We traveled all the way to Jordan to see one of the world's uh, wonders with your eyes. Hey. And uh, now this is one of the world's wonders. Hey, look at this. Hey, this looks like uh, some uh, temple house that had just begun its construction on a stone. And you wonder uh, what went down there, you see? Hey, look at this skull here. Oh, the skull of uh, maybe a human or uh, people's ancestors that was crushed. What happened there? Looks like it was stepped on by some uh, giant foot or what do you think happened? Why is this car crashed like this? Hey, this is pretty abnormal. What do you mean this is uh, just a scar that is normal, it has not been crashed? Maybe people from the past uh, were shaped like this. Oh, makes me wonder. You can see the teeth are there intact, uh, everything is okay. Huh, this one is creepy, man. Who made
where did this stuff or where did this stuff come from hey, and then who crashed it and what was the essence or need for crashing this stuff eh? hmm. <laughs> this is new man hey. good people of us that know about bones eh? the mr modern world mr bones please tell us what is what is going on here you see what is this Hey, do you see any markings on this card that are creepy or abnormal? Hey, look at the forehead. It's pretty protruding and flat. What's up? Hey, it looks like it had been destroyed badly. What happened here now? You can ask yourself a lot of questions. Hey? Oh, is this as a result of the ac an accident or what happened? Because you can only see the scar of the head and uh, no it's the bones for the for the neck ah, it's pretty surprising man you see oh and then there's this place on some place here ah some mountain what is going on who built this stuff here eh? wait 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 good people of us what is that that is uh, coming from the mountains there is that water or ice snow oh my god eh, these are those crazy phenomena that uh, we have been seeing you see because now I don't understand what's going on here. And uh, down there, there are people's homes. Oh my god. What would happen to those people? You see, good people of us. The last time we saw such uh, an incident, I asked you guys if uh, where you come from, you have ever seen such situations. You see? And uh, good people of us, I'd like you to comment and help us understand this. You see, from this side of the world, myself, I've never seen snow. And then I see snow coming like a river and I wonder, how is that even possible? Huh? Check it out. You can see the laser when it stops or the light when it stops on the grass. You can see it lights up. So I believe it is authentic. I don't believe it's CGI. The question I have, is it a drone or is it direct energy weapons? This is the question. As we know, there's a lot of speculation by direct energy weapons or do, whatever you want to call it. And that this is being used by people. We'll just say people, of course, because, you know, we're not allowed to say anything else, I don't guess. Although we all have enough common sense, I would guess that you know we could figure out which people would ever use this uh but is this a real video was it real uh is that cgi like i say i don't know i don't think it is uh i can see uh the grass you can see it lighting up uh as it shines now i do believe it's very possible that this could be a drone it could be you know from that uh it's hard to say i mean you don't know it's a very short clip it's hard to tell uh, but when I saw it, I thought it was worthy of being put out to let you guys decide. So leave your comments. Let me know what you think. Here we go. <laughs> oh, dude, it goes that way. This kind of seems a little unstable. It goes. Hey, stay right. <laughs> Hold up, it's a passage, guys. I haven't thought that far ahead about getting back up. It's pretty deep, not gonna lie. I can't see the bottom. I'm kind of levitating above it. This is wild. Oh, it dead ended. <laughs> I think it goes underwater. Yeah, that ledge was wicked, dude. I see it all with my head in it. I had this Phoenix light down too low, and it like burnt my forehead. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yo, this is trippy. The ceiling. Holy crap. It looks like it goes up there, yeah. Maybe not, actually. 
Oh, there's a staircase. Yeah, man, <laughs> I'm sending it. I don't know. Dude, that would make a what are you doing? <laughs> Holy crap! I didn't think I was that high. Dude, there's. Oh man, <laughs> where do you go in such a place? Hi guys, look at these things on the plate. Any person seeing this, we think that these are ginger. It is not ginger. I went to my 12 market last Thursday to buy stuff for my catering business. So I bought this thinking that it was ginger. When I came home, I normally chew raw ginger. So I asked my girl to peel one for me to eat. When she peeled it, she said, ah, mommy, smell, smell the ginger. It's, it's smelling one kind. So I told her, I said, ah, how? Let me see. I, it was awful. This is wood. That it cut it, cut it. Let me show them the face. This is pure wood that they are selling to us in the market as ginger. Look at it. See, this is wood. Look at it. All you fellow caterers, so not your caterers, any of you going to the market now to buy ginger, open your eyes, shine your eyes, make sure you peel, you cut small in the market like this. Cut a little, smell it, and then chew small. When you get the smell of ginger before you buy, what the traders are selling for us in the market, I don't know. I don't know what that to call it poison, no. But this is not ginger. Look at it. Don't be deceived. It's wood. See them. It's not ginger. Fake ginger. It's what they are selling in the market right now. Because ginger is scarce. So they are selling fake ginger. Because they look like ginger, but they are not ginger. So always peel it. Peel a bit like this. And put it on your nose. Smell it before you buy ginger in the market from now on. But share it to your family members. This is not ginger. Look at it. You can see. It's not ginger. Fake ginger. Wood. I don't know where they got it from. The full market. I bought it from my 12. So thank God I did not add it to my tomato and pepper before grinding it. So please be warned. Hey, now there is uh, fake fruits. I am surprised, but I doubt they have reached here. Because uh, here people can beat you up and try such jokes. Does anyone know what this weird ocean creature is? Oh, you do you mean this is, an, is a creature and not a bottle? That thing is alive. Good people over. Ha! Y'all, look at this shit, y'all. Look at this. Look at this around the sun. And they just started blocking out the sun. They just started blocking out the sun, but look at that. It's dark, dark. Like, it looks circle, right? It's an incomplete circle. What is that, y'all? As soon as it started coming out, started to come out, they blocked the sun. What the? F Do y'all see that? Look at that. What is that? Yo, that's supposed to be the sun. That is supposed to be the sun. Bro, what's going on? What happened to the sun? What happened to the sun? And the sun just crossed that, whatever it is. It's crazy. Hey, what? Good people of us. It's crazy stuff, I'm telling you. So, I'm a remote viewer, and when I was 19, 18 years old, and I started remote viewing, the first thing I wanted to do was to check out the military bases on planet Earth. What are they doing down there? And one of the initial military bases I went to go creep on was the Antarctic military base. So here I am, 19 years old, I go over in my astral body to this military base. I'm underground, and I can actually feel the cold dampness of the hallways. It, it was almost like they were bare cement. 
and there was all of these rooms in this base. Now, what I saw there was probably one of the most horrible things that I've ever seen remote viewing. There were men and women strapped to tables, and it seemed like they were doing experimentation, genetic experimentation. It seemed like they were creating a super soldier. What good people of that? Do you believe that or leave your thoughts? You guys, this is the only interview I've ever watched where I actually believe the guy uh, that he was uh, dealing with a vampire, um, but I prefer demon to say demon. He says vampire, but I say demon um, because he brings up something later in the interview called Cain energy from Cain and Abel, which is a sin, and that is a way for them to get inside. So this is the beginning. Hi everybody, this is me, Didi, from Haunted Curiosities, and I have with me today Anthony. He is a vampire, he is living, he is in the flesh, and I've been talking to him for quite a while. He's extremely interesting, he knows so much, um, not just about vampires, but other creatures, entities, aliens, space, 2012, you guys have no idea, and the things he has told me are things that, you know, I have never heard before so I'm very excited to have him here today if I sound a little nervous or if he does it's because we're both nervous <laughs> around each other a little bit but I want to welcome him um hello Anthony and how are you today very well yourself I'm doing well yeah. I'm gonna get right to this and ask you how long have you been a vampire it's rather not disclosed age but in vampire years I'm fairly young okay what is it like being a vampire? It is like being dead and alive at the same time, if that makes any sense to you. The death was only in the beginning. Why do you say only in the beginning? In the beginning, I felt dead due to depression. I had to leave my family right away. And knowing that I would never see them again and outlive them all was very... It was a hard blow. Oh, wow. I, I imagine... Um that it would be. So you just basically upped and walked out, vanished from your family? Yes. Yes, I did. Why did you do that? I had to. I had no other choice. The, the people of that day were very superstitious. It was safest choice for me and family. Okay. Are you still depressed now? No. They have all since passed. Well, e even though they passed, um, I know that when a human being loses a family member, they it doesn't mean that they don't mourn them. Don't don't you still miss them? No, as time passes, so does my human emotions. Okay. Um, all human emotion is gone. Is this what happens when you become a vampire? It just vanishes like you did from your family, or not completely? It, the you, you still hold on to some tendrils, something close, but it's not full human. Would you say at this time you're all vampire? Yes, I would say I'm fully, full vampire. I can see, smell, taste, touch. It is just different. Okay. Do you need blood? Are you dangerous? Can you enchant? Can you fly? I do need... You know, tell me. Uh, I'm like, you know, I have you in front of me. I, I really want to know all these things. I do need blood, but not in manner you would think. I can enchant you, but I cannot fly. I can also go in churches and wear crosses and pray, but I refuse to. You refuse to? Do you refuse to because of your family? Yes, it was the fate that I had, I had to do. It was very tough. Okay. Are you dangerous to me and other human beings? It seems to me that you have not really realized yet that I am vampire and you are human. You are food. Okay. Um, well, I would ask you if you'll eat me, but I'll just, like, pass on that one. Um, uh, but are you dangerous to me right now as I, as I sit here and, and tape you? Please, do not push me. It is only you and me right now. I could do whatever I want with you and leave. No one would know. And what makes you think that we have to drink from your neck? Uh, cut you to pieces and splatter you on the wall. Is that how you do it? <laughs> I have been known to do that. 
Do you do it now? No, uh, well, I've become a little bit more classy. When you say a little bit more classy, you just don't leave the splatter or, or yeah. what? <laughs> well, I mean, I'm a little nervous here, people. <laughs> There's tongue marks on wall, and they get kind of confused. They think it's Satanist or something like that. I usually have no lines for all to me. Okay. Well, we're going to just uh, move on from that right now. Um, <laughs> so basically, movies and books and things like that are, are not accurate. Not in any way, shape, or form. Okay. Um, I have a pure myth. Okay. Um, well, you already answered the question about praying. You say you choose not to. But yet, you've also told me in prior conversations that you do believe um, in God, and, and I, I, even now, even though you don't pray. So why is that? I, yeah, I know he exists. I've been on the same plane as him. But he, I, it, I really don't want to talk about okay. that much. Okay, I understand. Mm. subject. Okay, now you said you went through a full change. What was that like? Well, the, the vampire that changed me uh, did the initial start that uh, is telepathically connected to me forever. Forever? Forever. Okay. He, he knows when I no longer have human emotion. And at this time, he takes me to his house, and I spend all evening, and that morning I see my last sunrise as human. So you still see the sunrise, but not as a human being would? Yeah, after that, for, after that last one, yes. Okay. I no longer see it as human being. What was the change like? Is it something you feel, something you see? Yes, they come and take me to see my origins. Well, but don't you, or, or, don't you originate from the family that, that had you? Your mother and your father? Yeah. The vampire in me does not originate from my family. So explain it to me. Um, I get pissed on the cane energy. The cane energy? Yes, cane energy. Okay, we're going to stop this right here. We will be back. Cane energy. That's what made me think twice about that interview. Well, 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 good people of Earth, thank you very much for watching up to this far. Have you ever been in a situation where maybe you had uh, your earphones plugged in and then you hear some uh, funny smell, maybe from the kitchen or anywhere? And to, to confirm the smell, you just have to remove your earphones even if you use your nose to find the smell, you see? Now when watching this video, I've had such a situation in my head. Where the things uh, that I was hearing through my ears, I could hard find them a little bit hard to believe. And I had to raise my glasses to see that guy and believe I'm not fooling myself. Good people of us, from that interview we have just seen, do believe those things. <laughs> you see those things sound like movie stuff. Stuff that we see you know, or hear in movies and other places. And then you see them here. Hey, it's why I really need you to leave your comments, good people of us, so that you can even uh, let us know if you know these things. Maybe you are self who you are watching from wherever you are, and you are related to one of the vampires, and it's a good vibe. You see, it's not bad, only that you would like to understand more, you see? Leave some comments there and help us understand this stuff. Amongst all those videos we have seen, you see? Good vibes to you and respect very much for clicking this video. And all those guys there in the comment section, big up to yourself, much love and good vibes to you, man. You're all wonderful souls. Oh, by the way, I talked about MJ Stison in some previous episode, thinking they had lost a little bit. Oh, MJ Stison, I saw your back, and it's nice, man. Lots of love and respect to you from wherever you are watching from. Nice up, man. Good vibes. Keep it tuned for some lit episode that will be coming soon. Bye bye man, till that time, peace and love be with you. We are out man, goodbye.